welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris, and I am your host. When we went to break, again, I was speaking with uh, Lynn Turner. Uh, Lynn is with the Construction Resource Center. And I was about to ask him about project labor agreements. Lynn, can you tell us what, the, what are those? It, it seems interesting. Yeah, so I could I could talk a little bit about it. Project sure. labor agreements. The union wants an agreement with the community or the municipalities, uh, if you will, that allows them to have union labor tied to it. So the project labor agreement allows <coughs> us to do that in two in two senses. So if you join the union, you have a master labor agreement that you sign. Mm -hmm. Well, the project labor agreement says to the municipalities and or whoever they sign this with, you don't have to be in the union to be a part of this project labor agreement. You just have to understand what the requirements are. So it allows the union a little bit more flexibility to have control of of certain projects and, and have the umbrella of the union attached to it. And I believe we have a number of those uh, kinds of agreements, some with, the, for example, the Port of Oakland, City of Oakland. Uh, they are interesting uh, to have and uh, I, I suppose are necessary at times because as you indicated, uh, uh, California is a union uh, state pretty much in Oakland, uh, it's pretty much a union city. So those are very important. Uh, you talked about, um, uh, let's talk about uh, some of the examples, if you have any, of interactive trade classes, workshops. What are those about? So when you're in your own business, you need to understand how to set your front and back office up. Mm -hmm. Typically, that's the issue with smaller, medium-sized companies. They don't know how to set their staffing and their office up properly to be successful. So if the office and the field aren't joined at the hip, mm -hmm. then there's some issues in your business. So these classes that we teach, along with that project management course, teaches you how to set your office up, and also who to hire. Typically, we want to hire a mother, a father, a little Johnny to come in and uh, to do the office work. But that is not the way to run a business. You need a professional. So we need to have hire professionals that understand the office setting and what you need to get out in a professional manner. Mm. Now, uh what you, you, we talk about there's one level of membership uh, now how much does it cost to become a member so it's either six hundred dollars in total I mean that's the annual cost right. or fifty dollars a month oh okay very yeah. reasonable and, and and then does that entail you to all of these benefits that you uh, give it does you don't have to then turn around and pay separately no Oh, well, no. that sounds like a, a real deal. It actually entitles you to so much more. So a CPA, you get uh, a conference with them. I mean, if you took it further, yes, you would have to pay them. To yeah, that's right. Relationship. I understand that. But we have the one-on-ones with an attorney. We have the one-on-ones with an estimator. So these, this membership exposes you to quite a few relationships that are key to your success. Now, do you still have what... Uh, I guess you describe on your website as uh, student interns. Is, are those still around? Yeah, we do. We do have the student interns, and how that works to say at the end of the year, uh, the summertime, we'll reach out to our advisory committee, and our advisory committee is made up of a lot of of uh, different companies. Let's say McGuire and Hester, Swinerton. Uh, East Bay Mud and some smaller organizations, uh, contracting organizations. And so if someone has, uh, let's say, uh, 
asking, do you know if they have uh, someone that knows me or family, and they would want them to intern to see if they go to college, if this is something that they are interested in pursuing, then we set them up with an internship, and they can go and work with and shadow some of these companies to see if that's something they want to do. And uh, what, who should take advantage of uh, of uh, the uh, program of, of the uh, membership? So, you, you know, they, they always say you can you can self promote, and, that, and that's what we're doing here now. <laughs> well, that's all right. Yeah. So we feel the who our target audience is the small and medium sized company. That's who really can get the most out of it. But the larger companies get something out of it, too, because we help them help the mentorships that they're trying to provide with the foundation so that they don't have to spend a whole lot of time talking to them about submittals or RFIs or getting in their their building. These books and our, our membership helps them get through that. And we're going to have to go to break. Uh, again, my name is Robert L. Harris. And I'm talking with uh, Lynn uh, Turner, uh, who is with the uh, Construction Resource Center. Uh, we will be right back. Don't touch that remote. Put it down. We will be right back. 